Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Time Shot. I am Adarum, and uh, we're heading back from a fairly successful uh, strip mining trip. Uh, I mostly did this not because I really needed diamonds, because I haven't really been using diamonds for much uh, other than my tools, which uh, all have like mending on them and such, so I don't even need to get diamonds to repair them with. Uh, I've mostly been getting doing strip mining to get stone, because I am so lacking in stone. Uh, and andesite as well, though you don't get too much of that strip mining unless you specifically go after it. Uh, but yeah, I, I just don't have very much stone, and since my my build project right now is primarily built out of, you know, like stone bricks and all that kind of stuff, not having stone is not a good thing, you know. I, I have to keep reminding myself that I'm only a month into playing on this server, you know, because uh, I'm usually pretty quick to get set up, and I kind of feel like, you know, like I'm already back in the groove, you know, like right where I left off on the last server I was on, but I have to keep reminding myself, you know, I just joined a month ago, you know, I don't have all the resources I would have if I had been playing on a server for, you know, like a year or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I, I just haven't ever gotten a chance to build up a good cobblestone collection just yet. So uh, yeah, I've been hopping over here. I actually stole most of the cobblestone from the chests uh, over here at the Mindless Mine, uh, which for those of you who don't know is a thing that the time charters sometimes do uh, where they all get together and do some strip mining while talking about random topics. Uh, although that whole format is somewhat obsoleted now by the, the podcast. Uh, I don't know. It might still happen sometimes. Uh, depends on how much people are playing on the Videla server. I know uh, there's not a whole lot of people playing uh, consistently on the server, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure people would hop in for stuff like that every so often uh, if it was brought up in the chat and if there were enough people around. Uh, but yes, anyways, uh, topic of the day is, uh, well, this isn't going to be a topic I talked about the whole episode like last time, uh, but basically, for those of you who don't know, um, I am going to be on vacation for a week starting on the 8th and ending on the 15th, uh, so I'm trying to get some episodes pre-recorded. Uh, this episode is going to go up in the middle of that somewhere, uh, I'm not sure when, I, I, I basically have four episodes uh planned out four videos to go up during that time. Didn't have a whole lot of time to do a whole lot of pre-recording. So I got two episodes of Earthbound, uh, two episodes of Time Shot. One of those episodes of Time Shot will go out the, the day I'm leaving on my trip. Uh, and the other one will probably go up on like Friday or something like that. And obviously you guys are seeing that episode right now. So uh, you will know when it goes up. But uh, yeah, so basically I'm going to be gone. Uh, and I just want to make sure there's a little bit of content going up. Uh, and I did want to give you guys a heads up that uh, this... Uh, Frequency of content is not going to be the the uh, frequency of content it's going to stay at. Uh, we're probably going to be more frequent once I get back from that trip. I know we're just coming back, uh, just coming out of a move where uh, I was a bit inactive for a little while. Uh, not like super inactive by any means, of course, but uh, just wasn't posting like super consistently. And uh, content will probably be even more consistent than it than it was uh, in the recent month or two. Uh, once we get back from that trip and such. It's just that trip uh, was just coming up. And I didn't get a chance to pre-record much before I left. Uh, normally, I'd probably have a chance to do that. But with the move and everything, uh, it's just been a little bit difficult to get that stuff going. Uh, so anyways, just kind of putting stuff away right now. Uh, kind of have things all over the place. And uh, I don't have an ender chest in here yet because I don't have a silk touch pick. I've been trying to get a silk touch pick. Uh, but I have not gotten one yet. Uh, one of those would be really nice to have so I could move my energy chest in here and not have to worry about building a new one. Uh, so I forgot to run all the way up to my dirt house. That's the only use my dirt house has right now. Uh, well, A, I'm trying to figure out what my redstone chest is. Uh, a, it's where my bed is because uh, that's where I'm sleeping at the moment. Uh, and B, it's where my energy chest is because I haven't been able to move that. I could move my bed in here. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So let's go ahead and sleep the night away, get rid of all these monsters, because one of the downsides to building a house that doesn't actually technically have a door on it, I should probably move those out of that slot too, so I didn't prevent uh, placing out torches when I don't mean to. But one of the disadvantages of building a house that doesn't have, like, you know, legit doors on it is that monsters can wander in. Uh, mostly it'd be zombies tracking you from that kind of distance, and I think I might have mentioned this in an episode before. Uh, but mostly it'd be zombies tracking you from that kind of distance, and zombies aren't really too much of a problem. Uh, but just in case some creepers decide to wander in, I wouldn't want them blowing stuff up. I don't think I've have any, had any issues with creepers blowing anything, anything up uh, so far uh, with anything, really. Uh, and these vines are starting to grow a bit, so we'll probably need to put some string on those. So, plan for today's episode. Uh, so, I did actually come in here 
and I mostly got the dome kind of finished out in here. I know I said I could do a time lapse of that, uh, but I kind of forgot. Uh, not really forgot. Well, basically, <laughs> if you don't know, the Timeshot server has a is a uh, monthly meeting, uh, a private meeting for all the members of the server just to keep everybody up to date on what's going on and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and during that meeting, I was on the server just kind of mindlessly playing and stuff like that. And I ended up just kind of building the dome walls here. Uh, although we're probably gonna put a bit of a lip right around the edge right here. Uh, and then possibly change this, uh, the bottom, uh, half of that into, uh, stairs as well, possibly, uh, to make it look a little more, a little more rounded. And up top, I'm really not satisfied the way it looks up at top. Why am I moving my torches? I don't need to move my torches. Uh, if we can get up there, I think that's the right direction. Yep, here we go. I'm not quite satisfied with the way it looks up on top. I might do some messing with this. I'm not really sure what I'll do. Uh, the other thing I really did while uh, we had the meeting going on and I was just mindlessly doing stuff was I uh, raised the level of the dirt all the way around the base uh, to kind of the level I want it to be at. And therefore, I'm going to kind of build up the actual exterior that I want to be visible from the outside uh, because obviously I don't want for for bleh, furnaces. Furnaces. I don't want furnaces visible from the outside of my base because that looks kind of silly and it's just silly. That's it. Uh, so yeah, I'm just kind of working on what kind of design I want to have on the outside here. Uh, so there'll probably be, you know, it's like some windows here on the ground level uh, of the of the uh, of the outside. Uh, kind of give it a feel of like a basement. Like most of these most of these hallways and stuff are almost like in the basement. Uh, although there's not going to be like an upper level or anything like that. I mean, that's just kind of the feel I want to go for where it's, you know, partially underground. I think that look, that that's kind of a nice feel. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and raise the ground level up here a little bit. Uh, so I actually did that like all the way around. Uh, I don't know if it's really necessary to show all that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, because we're here wandering around anyway. And I don't have a good way back in there unless I decide to end curl back up. Uh, and I do have to uh, fill that space in with more brick as well. Uh, but that's all work to do off camera. So uh, what I wanted to kind of work on this episode was a bit of the interior decorating that I've mentioned before. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and put some more decorations up on the inside, kind of spruce up the hallways, uh, add a bit more color, because right now it's a little bit bland. Uh, you look at this hallway right here, I mean, this is fine. I mean, because you're going from outside, there's plenty of greenery and all kinds of... Uh, pretty colors out here. One short little hall hallway like this is pretty fine. And then we open up in here and I'm gonna need to cut back on these vines a little bit and add some strings so they don't grow too far. Uh, Cause I don't quite want them growing in my face. I kind of want them up there a little bit. Uh, over here it's fine though if, if they're a little bit longer, maybe like that length would be good. And then kind of kind of vary them so it looks natural. I think that would look pretty nice. Uh, kind of like that is maybe the general feel I'd want to go for, except maybe uh, chop this one up one block or something like that. Did I? Kill a lily pad? I did kill a lily pad. We don't want to do that. Yeah, I think that would look pretty nice. Uh, debating putting vines on the actual tree? I don't think so, because I don't think that would look good, but yeah. Uh, other thing, I, I did a couple of things on the, uh, during the uh, meeting, actually. Uh, I also d decided to start putting in cracked stone brick and mossy stone brick at random intervals uh, in the stone brick of, of my base here. Uh, so that's kind of showing up in random places. Uh, and I didn't really finish getting it in on the dome over here because the dome was kind of the last thing I did. So I kind of started, you know, filling in the different stone brick variations uh, on the bottom portions of this wall. But I didn't really get to doing it up here there because I kind of built it out with stone brick first. And then I decided to come back through later and fill that in with with mossy and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, that's how that looks right now. And then there's eventually going to be trees in here. And I might end up opening that ceiling back up because I think maybe the natural light would look good. Uh, or possibly just put glass up above that. Uh, but anyways, in terms of decoration on the inside, uh, speaking of decoration, this is another thing I did. I kind of uh, put little insets in the walls right here, and these are going to be where I'm going to put like uh, item frames and put like some weapons or something in there. I think that would look pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so I do want to add some more uh, flower pots. I mean, last episode we went ahead and got some clay. Uh, I cooked that up and I made some flower pots so we can put some flower pots in the base in a couple places. Uh, and then I also want to make some item frames to put some weapons in uh, to line the training room. Although I don't know if we have any leather at the moment. I guess I'll check. I think I used it all to make books, though, for enchanting. Oh, we have a lot of leather. Okay, because uh, the first order of business this episode was going to be going over to the cow farm over there, breeding up some cows, and then killing a couple. But I guess that's not going to happen because we already have the leather that we need. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and grab some wood, make some sticks, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and make some, uh, yeah, those things. Yeah. 
item frames. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, we can go and use a little crafting thingamajig over here. Uh, if I can find it here. Here we go. Uh, we can make a nice 38 of them. Why did I make 38 of them? I don't think I need that many of them. I only meant to make a couple. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to have 38 of them. And I also want to replenish my stick supply in case I need it. Uh, yeah, I really didn't quite mean to make 38. I guess I just wasn't thinking. Uh, but yeah, and then we're also going to need some stuff to put in them. Uh, did I get my texture packs on here? I forget if I did or not. Uh, resource packs? No, it doesn't look like it. I had some texture packs that were Star Wars related that I wanted to try out, but I think they're on my laptop. Uh, not on my desktop, so I haven't I don't I can't try them out this episode I plan on trying them out at some at some point uh, in one of my videos here uh, oh, Weapons and shields we got a couple of swords enchanted swords probably look the best uh, In terms of looking kind of like a lightsaber uh, Actually, we don't want this one because that one's gonna the name's gonna show up and I don't really want that uh, I think we only have three no we had four inset little things uh, So let's just put a shield in one of them uh, and then we'll go ahead and, let's go ahead and fill those spaces in. I think I showed off the dormitory already, didn't I? I, I believe I did. Uh, although this episode we could go ahead and grab some wool so we could actually make some beds. Uh, although I, I think the wool, the sheep farm over there has various different colors in it. Uh, and of course now as of the most current update, uh, those colors will actually show. So I got to make sure I get a color that I actually like for that. Uh, and we may do some more decorating around this as well. Uh, I can always vary the blocks that I use around here up because I can always cover up the other side uh, Because I'm gonna do the exterior in a different kind of block anyway, Although, or, or I might just do it stone brick I mean who knows uh, so let's put the bow right there uh, and as I was talking about with the oops I didn't mean to do that as I was talking about with the texture pack uh, It would be cool to see this if I had like, you know, like some lightsaber textures and that kind of stuff I think that'd look pretty cool uh, So I think that looks all right uh, it kind of gives this, this room more of a feel of, you know, some, somewhere where weapons are kept. Uh, maybe I could make some kind of shelving unit that has more weapons on it. I don't know. Or, 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 or even just like a chest and put some, or a couple of chests and put some swords and bows in it. Uh, and then I also have to do something with this training room floor here. Uh, let's go ahead and run back and grab our, our lighty blocks because we did have a skeleton spawn there last episode. Uh, so we got to use some kind of design that incorporates the, uh, what is this even called? Sea lanterns, duh. Uh, we got to use some kind of design that incorporates those. Uh, and I don't want to use the same grid pattern I used here. I want to use something different. Uh, maybe something relatively circular, if that's possible. Uh, we'll see what we can do. So let's go ahead and grab uh, andesite, I suppose. Uh, make that into smooth andesite because that's a lot nicer looking. And what other blocks do we have to play with? Uh, I guess we can grab some stone slabs and some stone bricks and see what we can do with that. Because uh, I think the rim of the training ring is actually orange already, so we probably want to go ahead and use the grays in there. Yeah, okay, so yeah, everything else in this room uh, is various shades of colors except for the, you know, the walls and the ceiling. Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and dig this out and hopefully there's not a cave under here. I know there's caves under certain areas. Uh, and I always have to worry about digging those up and having monsters kind of crawl out at me uh, And I'm still here. I, I actually went down in those caves and I actually did uh, end up lighting up some of them But I'm still hearing I, I'm still having stuff come up uh, or I'm still hearing stuff I'm still hearing monsters from from down below me uh, So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate um, Hmm. I mean you don't really have space to make something truly circular down here uh, so I guess we'll just make do with that, and then we'll go ahead and fill in the corners over here like that. And then we're probably going to want... Um, how are we going to want to do the light? Actually, let's do the light in the corners, probably. I think that would look best. And I think the light will carry through. Uh, oopsie. Uh, another downside of not having, you know, sick, bleh, not having silk touch is that when you break your sea lanterns, you're going to get your little prismarine back. Uh... So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. So I've been wasting a few sea landers here and there when I, where I misplaced them. Uh, but yeah, I should probably head back to the end farm at some point and get a silk touch, uh, finally. Uh, yeah, fill in the corners with the lanterns, and that should cut. That should that light should cover the center as well, because these things have a pretty wide uh, circumference that they cover. So I think hmm, we want to kind of go like a no. What if we take out these and then put stone brick 
uh, are along the side, and then do the grid pattern. Because uh, grid patterns with the polished andesite and the stone slabs, uh, that always looks nice. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that. But yeah, this training ring is a little bit too small to really do too much uh, in terms of like a circular pattern. Which, uh, And the reason I wanted to do circular is because that's usually what you have in a training ring. Thus the word, you know, training ring uh, and not training rectangle. But uh, we'll just have to make do with our training rectangle. Uh, I mean, I could expand this, but I do kind of like having a decent amount of walkway around here. Uh, and we also maybe want to put seating around here. Uh, we could think of some kind of nice little chair we can make. That's acceptable, I suppose. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll probably come back and mess with all this stuff over and over again until I, you know, get it the way I exactly, exactly the way I want it. But uh, yeah, so we're talking about seating. Let's go ahead and grab. I should probably just go grab my shulker chests and bring them with me. Uh, I have one that has clay in it. I have one that has uh, stone and andesite in it. So let's go ahead and grab those and bring them over here. That way we don't have to run back and forth over and over again. And uh, we should be safe from monsters, I think. Because uh, the entrance is all the way over that way, uh, maybe. Although I think I've had monsters kind of drop it in my head uh, over here. Because I think they can get up on top of the building because of the way uh, I built the dirt up around it. So do we want to sleep? Nah, we'll be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and plop these down uh, somewhere out of the way. We'll put one over here, put one over there just for the heck of it. And let's grab... Oh, we don't have any stairs on us. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to make some stairs. I just realized there's a crafting table over there too, so I guess I could have used that, but uh, that's okay. Uh, one of these days I'll probably have crafting tables like all over my base. Uh, maybe I'll go prank somebody with crafting tables if I make too many of them. Okay, so uh, we have any regular stone brick? Uh, we have stone brick slabs and we have mossy and we have cracked. Uh, we have some regular stone though, we can make some with that. And we have a single piece of stone left over. That always bothers me when I have that one extra little piece of stone. Uh, so let's go ahead, uh, let's make three of those. Let's keep some of these stone bricks in case we need them for something else. Uh, although we do already have slabs, so I don't know what else we need them for. But uh, So in terms of seating, hmm, I'm trying to decide how I'd want this to look because I could just kind of, yeah, I could just kind of go like that. Uh, because that would line up with with these archways over here. Uh, although obviously this is a little bit uh off center from the uh from the what am I trying to say here? Off center from the actual ring, but that's just because of the way the room was built. Uh, and I'm not really gonna mess with the 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 spacings of things. I think that, I think it's fine as as it is. Uh, if we get rid of that one, and then we just have the two right there, kind of in the middle. Uh, and then we could probably also put one uh, right here and right here. Then obviously get rid of our crafting table. Uh, why is this one at a different place than this? Is this one? No, that one doesn't quite. Look. Okay, I guess that's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother too much with it. Uh, just assume that these chairs can move. <laughs> uh, because uh, yeah, they, people can move these chairs, even though they're made of stone. Uh, that doesn't make so much sense that you'd be able to move it. Uh, but just assume people move their chairs when they want to. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to make some signs. Although I do have plenty of signs already. No sense making more signs when I already have them. Uh, I do apologize for lots of running back and forth here. This was kind of a uh, an episode that I wanted to make sure I made. Because I wanted to make sure I had an extra, extra episode going up. And I also want to make sure we're actually doing something this episode that's productive. But I didn't really have too much of a plan going, going into it. So uh, I'm kind of just flying by the seat of my pants here. Which uh, I suppose is fine. Uh, it's just I'm a little sporadic and I'm going to be doing a lot of running back and forth and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I'm almost wondering if maybe we should have gone with uh, wooden seats. Although we don't have any other wood really in our in our color palette. Uh, other than like, you know, orange wood. And, you know, the, or the orange wood doesn't, isn't going to match the signs on the sides anyway. Uh, just going to do a zombie check in here real quick. It looks like it should be turning day pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the acacia wood's not going to match these anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, and and I, I, don't, I also wish we had signs that matched all the different wood colors. Oops, that shouldn't be up there. Uh, because we already do have uh, pretty much everything else is available in all the wood colors. You know, like uh, doors, uh, are trapdoors available in all the different wood colors now? 
Maybe they aren't. I don't. I, that might be one thing that's not. But you know, we can get stairs and half slabs and all the kind of stuff in every type of color of wood. But signs, we really need different colored signs. That would be a nice thing to see in one of the future updates. Uh, okay, so that's our seating. So now we have a training ring. We have weapons. We probably want a weapon storage of some kind. I suppose that would probably go best in this corner right here. Uh, so let's see. How would we want to build a weapon storage? What if we just built like a shelf? That's kind of in the way. Huh. Um, I guess we could just demolish that. Yeah, we're just gonna demolish this. That's fine. Uh, we don't need this extra little inset here. I think I do want to have a shelving unit over there. So let's go ahead and put our polished andesite back. And since I don't have silk touch, as I mentioned, and I would just have to break that, I'm just going to place another one on top of it. And then there's another sea lantern that's kind of wasted down there. Maybe someday I'll go back and get it back, but I'll probably forget about it. Uh, if you're a diligent note taker on my time shot episodes for some reason, feel free to take a note of this and remind me when I have a silk touch pick to come back here and fix that. Uh, but I mean, nobody's going to do it, so I don't know why I'm even saying it. All right, so let's go ahead and build some kind of shelving unit, and I'll probably just put some uh, what's your mahoosums on here. Uh, I keep forgetting what they're called. I could just hover over them. Item frames. I could put some item frames on this shelving unit here, uh, and that will kind of be our, our quote-unquote you know, weapon storage. I think that's probably the best way to do it here. So it's a very simple shelving unit here. And then if we go ahead and this shouldn't cover it up too much, right? Yeah, you can still see that it looks like there's, you know, something behind there. It's not just a flat, you know, a flat gray wall. And then we'll go ahead and plop a weapon in there. And we'll need to grab some more at some point. Uh, for now, a couple of battle signs will do, I suppose. And yeah, so there we go. That's kind of the way I want this room to go. I don't really think there's much else other than banners. But uh, we don't have any wool, so I suppose our next project is probably to get some more wool. Uh, and by more, I mean wool in the first place, because I don't really have any. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead. I guess it wasn't turning daytime quite yet. Go ahead and plop all this stuff back over here, where it was originally. And grab some shears, get some wool, uh, and then maybe mess around with some banners. I don't really do much messing with banners, so I'm not really sure how they work. So we might just make some plain colored ones and use them temporarily. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably what we'll do for now. And then I'll probably mess with banners and designs off camera, uh, and see if possibly I can, I can repl replicate, you know, like the Jedi, uh, the Jedi order symbol or something like that. Uh, I think that'd be a neat thing to do. And please excuse me, uh, running back and forth. I'm still getting used to my storage system. Uh, I always change up the way I organize things every time I do a new storage room. So, uh, I always have to kind of remember where things are. Alrighty, so let's go ahead. I've gotten so used to running out this way because this has been left open for a while. I have to keep reminding myself there's no exit here. Uh, the only entrances and exits are over this way on the, this side of the base. And I completely forgot to grab shears. So let's go grab some shears because that would be smart. They should be in my tools chest. There we go. We have quite a few shears. I don't know why I have so many shears. Uh, we'll take that one. Uh, shearing sheep uh, doesn't take too much durability, so I don't mind taking one that's not quite full durability. Uh, we might as well use up one of these almost broken ones rather than using up a full one. All right, so sheep farm over this away. And then we'll go ahead and make a couple banners and then probably call it good for an episode. Uh, might be kind of a, a short one and not really much we're doing this episode, but that's mostly just because it's the night before I go on my trip. And I still got to get this episode... Uh, I gotta get this episode rendered out too tonight, uh, as well as the second episode of Earthbound I have going up while I'm gone as well. So I still have a bit of stuff to do tonight, so I don't want to spend too much time on this video. So I do apologize if it feels kind of low effort. Uh, I really don't mean for it to come across that way. It's just I'm trying to, you know, find something I can do uh, in this episode so I'm not just wandering around and talking, uh, because those kinds of episodes are even worse than the episodes where we're not really doing anything too interesting. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and... I feel like I say that a lot. I feel like every time I finish doing something I said I was going to do, that I say, okay, we did that. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do that. You know, I, I feel like go ahead is like my, my default saying 
Uh, and I feel like I should probably get away from that, as well as getting away from saying the word uh, uh, because that's what I noticed. <laughs> there we go again. Uh, I can't help myself, seriously. I, I just do it by instinct, just to fill space when I'm talking. It's taking some severe concentration to stop myself from saying the word uh right now. Right there, I was about to say it too. Okay, so banners, is this how you make a banner? That is how you make a banner. Uh, now, can you make it with different colors right off the bat? If I go like this, is it gonna make it? No, that's not how that works, okay. Uh, yeah, I haven't really messed much with banners, so I'm just gonna make uh, a yellow one. I don't really have many colors, do I? Uh, a yellow one and a gray one, just to throw them up there, just to have something on the wall temporarily. Uh, and I guess also a white one because we have uh, another set of wool. But other than that, we didn't grab enough of any individual color to really use it. So let's go ahead and just throw it. There I go saying go ahead again. Let's go ahead and do that. I really need to kick these habits I have. I, I just have these really bad habits of saying th certain things over and over and over again. So let us commence with the banner placing. Uh, that's not quite where I want that. Place it up here. I think that could look pretty nice. And then maybe plop one up over here. And then, yeah, I mean, we'll we'll do some messing with this. Uh, like I said, I do want to go ahead. <sighs> there I go again. Seriously, someone go count the number of times I say go ahead this episode. So, uh, yeah, sometime between episodes, I'll be messing with the banners a little bit and try and come up with a good Jedi Order symbol design. I'm sure using, like, the Mojang design, I think you build a golden apple to do that. That might be something that we might need to incorporate into it. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'll do. I'll, I'll just mess with some stuff. Uh, worst comes to worst, I can just try and make, like, a lightsaber kind of design or just, like, a sword. or I, I don't even know. At this point, I mean, I'm not even sure if this is really a Jedi Enclave or it's just some kind of random... Uh, warriors enclave i mean considering the fact that these are swords and bows to anyone who doesn't have the texture pack i i might be using later on when i say texture pack i'm not going to use the whole texture pack I'd, I'd just be using you know items and anything relevant to star wars that i that i felt like didn't change too much what my build looks like to other people but anyways, I, I think that'll do it for this episode. I did say I was going to end things off pretty soon here. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I promise next episode we'll do something a lot more interesting. Uh, and, and like I said, I, I do want to get use of that alternate account that I have to do some time lapse kind of things. So we'll find some kind of project to work on. I don't think there's really anything left in here that would make a good time lapse. So maybe that'll have to wait until we find a location for our next base. Still not quite 100% sure what it'll be. I've got two ideas I'm kind of throwing around, but uh, we'll just have to see what kind of terrain we can find to put that kind of stuff in. But uh, that's all nonsense gibberish to you guys because you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. So anyways, uh, that'll do it for today's episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode of Time Shot.